All right, cool. Uh, we we back. Howdy. Um, cave of scops. Is... What? Cave of scops. Yeah. Anyways, what? How do I play this game again? <laughs> um, there's a. I'm pretty sure there's a jump button, and uh, there's also like a punch button, and I think that's all you need. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for clarification, um. I, at the time of this recording, I literally just finished uh, streaming Lost Levels, so um, yeah, I kind of need to just get re-adjusted to how this game works. Are you have a time? Local Mask has played Rayman 1 to Detox from, so from Super Mario The Lost Levels. Are you in a tonic trouble, kid? I think so. <laughs> yeah, because, um, yeah, the, this- the, the, Lost, levels, Lost Levels is unfairly hard. Yeah. Yeah, like- it's good. Lost level is just, just, it, uh, it's just bad. I'm so like, I, I, I'm sure there's like fans of that game, but like I, it, I, I think it's the worst mainline Mario game, and I, I don't think it's even close. That's not really, um, I mean, that's not really, um, it's not particularly bold claim to make. No, it, I, no, I, I know it's like not a very popular game in general, but like, what the hell are they thinking with that? It's un it's unfairly difficult. I already, I already said that, but I'll yeah. say it again. Yeah. How the heck did you get a life? Um, how do you get a get, Harry? You're asking gamers that. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know I was saying this in the stream, but like I feel like a lot of the okay, some of the level design and lost levels is just straight up like unfair and just dickish. But like, um, yeah. At least I'd say at least eighty percent of it is bad because it's just not really good with it's not really built with mario's like controls in mind if you put it in like another game it probably wouldn't be that bad but like it's yeah it, it's just pain anyways Mar uh, rayman one um yeah no the, the thing is with this game is like it's difficult but it's like it's the to me anyway it's the fun kind of difficult where like it feels like you can overcome it, and it's like a lot of the level design is is creative and like fun to get through. Um, yeah, lost levels is just it is just annoying and dumb. <laughs> like I'm, I'm reminded of a time like when Mario Maker One was still relevant. When um, I, I like I'm not that creative at making my own original levels. At one point, I was just recreating certain levels from the lost levels, and I know <laughs> one of them was one of the bonus levels. Uh. Like yeah, one of them. Like not. I mean, like yeah, like the bonus, like the, like the bonus levels for like the bonus world, and um, I like I, I even like include I even like um, in, included like a ref a ref uh, a warp pipes that bring you right back to the beginning of the level to reference <laughs> that there's like because reference that it's a reverse warp zone. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, and like, like, and like, and, and like, and also, like, and also, I, I also, I also even added like the laughing sound effect for when you come out of the pipe, like, ha, ah, you fell for it. <laughs> okay, that, they, you know, they would have done that if, uh, if Lost Levels had like sound effects, yeah. or like, or like the sound things. That'd be brilliant. Oh, it's, I, like, I, yeah. I, I, I still think one of like the best original levels that I did make was one. Loosely based off of the Great Cave Offensive from Kirby Superstar. Hmm. I know like, there's I like, like some. I, I remember seeing some uh, levels in Mario Maker. What the heck is this? Uh, some levels in Mario Maker oh, where it's like a. Uh, I can't get out. Oh, you're dead. Good. Um, <laughs> yeah, there were some levels in Mario Maker where it's like a. Uh, Metroid, Metroidvania kind of thing, where like you go around and you get a power up, and then you start, you can enter like another section and stuff. And yeah, levels like those, those are pretty creative. Yeah, I assume. Why the... Yeah. Why do the platforms have eyes? Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can I just? Oh, that's just death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like my, but yeah, like um, I I like I made a level ba loosely based off of Great Cave Offensive. You just go like you you just go in different doors collecting red coins to unlock to unlock the red to unlock the red door keys to get to different parts. I even like I even included a few hidden howl rooms. Oh, cool. 
like and since it, like and and since uh, and since it was Mario Maker one and not Mario Maker two, that means I could use like um the Kirby costume because why wouldn't you use it? Yeah. <laughs> like I use a Kirby costume and I even had like the um item jingle that plays whenever you've got a treasure in Mar in in Great Cave Offensive. You know, just for that little bit of extra detail. Oh, dang it. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah the, 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 like, uh, the, the level unfortunately got taken down from the server a while ago, but, like, the servers are dead anyway, so at that point it doesn't matter. But yeah. But still, but still, like, the fact that, like, but, but still, at the time when it was still relevant, and I saw that it got removed from the servers because not a lot of people played it, I'm like, that sucks. Because I worked, because that, because, like, that was, like, the best level I made. Uh, oh, crap. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, uh, that's the thing I don't like about Mario Maker is that, it like if people don't, <laughs> if, if people don't play your level enough or something, that it just gets cut off the server, and I I don't like that. Yeah. Like that happened to you me. Made... Like that happened to me a couple of times, and it makes you feel like crap. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just imagine doing like a really well researched high-effort YouTube video about, I don't know, some obscure fighting game series. <laughs> Two hours long, ten views taken down after ten months. Oof. God, yeah. Do I love that copyright? No, not copyright, just... Oh, it oh. wasn't popular enough. Oh, right. It yeah, it just wasn't popular. Live. Yeah. Wow. That sucks. Like, oh, I remember, oh, like, I, an, I remember, like, an, I remember, like, another really good level that I made in Mario Maker 1 was, um, like, what was, was it, like, was an, was an underwater level where, like, you use the mm -hmm. Rice Star, you, you, were like, you use the, not, well, I don't, when I say Rice Star, I meant Starfy. You the <laughs> I don't know, I got those two confused, like, you use the Starfy thing, costume. right? <laughs> like, you, like, you use the Starfy costume, you basically just go through, like, an underwater auto-scrolling oh, cave thing, collecting coins while running away from giant wigglers that are chasing after you. Yeah. And, like, I, I also thought that one was pretty good. I, I kind of, like, made a spiritual successor of that in Mario Maker 2. I'm not sure if that's still up there, but... Mm. If, but, like, yeah, I, I, I did kind of make, like, a spiritual successor version of that in Mario Maker 2, since there's, like, there are, like, checkpoints. Oh, wait, Mario Maker 1 added checkpoints later, but still, um... Oh, right, yeah, it was an update. But so I think, like, that, like that, that was, like, like, the only one of, like, the Mario Maker 2 levels that I made that was... Kind of like a spiritual successor to one of my Mario Maker One levels. Hmm. I um, I made a f I I made a few levels for Mario Maker One. Uh, I don't remember what any of them called. Uh, oh no, I I remember one. Oh, I, I remember yeah. you. Made, yeah, I I think this is the one you're talking about. I think I know the one you're talking about. I know you made one that had like a pitch rap that was a direct reference to ABTN. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. That. That's that too. Um. Yeah, I I made a level where you you start it and it's just a vine that just goes down and it's like just a million enemies just kill you immediately. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. I don't even play ABT that, but but I always know that bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I hear the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, I've been reading a manga. That's why I've been so quiet. That's probably the. Yeah, uh, that's probably my favorite level I made though. Not because of the uh, uh, AVGN reference, but like I put a lot of effort into the level itself. Um, but yeah, besides that, the one level I remember was like uh, I I remember talking to a Andrew uh, one time where it's like we were which Andrew Harry um the 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 one you knew from the podcast you used to do or whatever um, we had a podcast apparently. Um, yeah, no, we were talking about how, like, even the simplest levels have, like, really low clear rates for some reason, and, like, we we just joked about how we should just make a level where you just, you just start it and it just wins for you. <laughs> so that's what I did, I, I just made a level where there's just springs that just send you into the flagpole, um, like, frame one, and then I just called, <laughs> called it, like, best level ever, Lamau, lol, XD, or something like that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I think it's like it's weird. Like when Mario Maker One, it, it, um, a lot of it is probably due to the uh, difference in the um, uh, 
Dang it. Okay. A uh, difference in the, like, UI and stuff, but... When I, like, when Mario Maker 1 came out, like, I, I was, like, having a lot of fun just making levels and just seeing what I could do. But when I, when I do that, when I boot up the level creator in Mario Maker 2, I, my brain just dies. I just don't know what to do with that game. <laughs> yeah. I'm typically really bad with, with level creators. Like, uh, right. the most, the most, I think the most I've ever done a full level was, um, well, it wasn't even Mario Maker. It was uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, actually. Oh. Well, yeah, that has a level creator. But yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember high hell or, or, or whatever my stage even remotely looks like, but... Yeah. Wasn't there a Mega Man creator at one point? Yeah. There was, there, there was going to be an official Mega Man creator, level creator thing, but it was cancelled. Oh, that so, sucks. There's a fan-made one. Yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, there's a fan-made one. Hmm. But I heard it's, it's really good. Hmm. Yeah, there should be more level, I, level creator stuff for um, franchises, because that would, like, increase replay replayability f like crazy. Yeah, um, I, I mean, like, at, at, like at the very least, for at the there, there, at the very least, um, at the time of the, at the time of this recording, Super Dungeon Maker came out not came, came out pretty recently. What's down here? As, uh, like, as, like, as, 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 ah. that, 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 that's basically that's basically like a Zelda Maker. Speaking of which, I, I would love an actual Zelda maker. Yeah. Because, like, the, there's the... They did the thing in... Um, uh, uh, Link's Awakening remake. Yeah, but that doesn't count. Like, it's just... Yeah. You just put random rooms from dungeons throughout, uh, from the no actual game, um, and that's it. Like, that doesn't really count. Yeah, that doesn't count. That, which is why Super Dungeon Maker exists, because yeah, you yeah. can make your own Zelda. You can make your own Zelda theme. You can make your own Zelda dungeons. Yeah, I know there's like Zelda Classic and stuff, like where it's like people make their own uh, Zelda games based off the Zelda One, uh, like game engine or whatever. But you know, I I would like an official thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like I'd also I would also like to see like a remake of Zelda Two. Yeah, no, I think so. I think Zelda Two is still is like the game that's um most in need uh, of a remake. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, speak. Oh, speaking of Zelda games getting remakes or whatever, apparently someone took one of the CDI games and turned it into a Game Boy game. Mm. Right? Wait, um, what? Like, um, Z oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Zelda's Adventure, the, the lesser known CDI, the lesser known game of the CDI Zelda trilogy. The, yeah, so, so someone someone turned it into a Game Boy game, and it actually plays a lot better, since, especially since Zelda's Adventure kind of plays like kind of plays like a traditional top-down Zelda game. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I hope we, so, yeah. I hope we like dark levels. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Anyway, back to my manga. <laughs> this, even by the standards of like, like lights out levels and platforms of the ninety, platformers of the nineties, this looks kind of too dark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and well, I mean, better than getting flash in the camera by Squawk in the original versions of uh, DKC. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, these. Oh no, I had that version. <laughs> okay, this is what this is one thing that I sincerely hope they um, Ray Armani didn't like add more sections to because, like, this was always just awful. <laughs> like, it's not just that it's dark; it's like it's almost. It's quasi-realistic lighting. <laughs> yeah. It's so brown, everything blends in. Yeah. Oh, checkpoint. I I remember if, at least this section... Light, like, if the light was brighter, then it would probably be a bit more tolerable. Yeah. Because, um... Yeah, I, I, I remember... Th Good. I remember this section at least not being too long. But, like... Yeah, not a fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> At like at, 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 the at, at the very least, modern platformers do this mechanic way better. Mm. Like Cur Cur like Kirby and the Forgotten Lad, for instance. Oh right. Because yeah, like the the haunt that was like the like the 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 haunted house sec 
levels in the in the amusement park world. They had some like like they had some sections that were dark, but at least like but you had the light bulb, so you could so you could get around that. And those sections yeah. weren't that long, anyways, too. You mean the light bulb that blinks? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. There's plush like there, 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 there's there's plushies of various mouthful modes because of course there are. Yeah, even and like uh, Return to Dreamland has a pretty good dark section. Yeah. Be yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Return to Dreamland has pretty good dark sections because one, there, one, there are there are there there are little like candles sc scattered all over the place, so you can't so there, so there's no way that you won't be able to see where you're going. And two, there's multiple ways that there are multiple ways that you can actually light the section up, whether through holding a candle item that they give you, if you if if you have the fire ability, or if you have the spark if you have the spark ability. Yeah. I need. I still need to get uh, deluxe. It's 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 good. Because it, it, it I mean, seems to be basically just a better, yeah, just better version of the game, just overall. Yeah, yeah, it's a, overall better, a better version of the original. Right. I know that was like a little bit of a sticking point with like the visual style, but I think it has grown on me over time. Yeah. I think what uh, one thing that made that uh, like, uh, can I just go over this? Yeah. No. Okay, that's a wall. <laughs> uh. Uh, one one thing that kind of, not entirely, but may like won me over a bit is uh, the is the fact that, like there's there's a mod someone made of um, the game but with no like no out outlines now no outlines and if you look at like a if you compare like how stylized stylized uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe looks normally and the no outline mod side by side it just looks off. Yeah. So it's, it's like one of those things like you see you see something like that and then you understand oh that's why they did it yeah so you can see the characters better yeah I I, I, I know I know that someone actually I know someone made like um a star a, a, a star allies mod that basically just makes it so the game runs at 60 FPS oh nice <laughs> hey what what runs at 60 um, a, a Star Allies mod that ma that makes the game run at 60 frames per second. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh... Like, cause like, I'm pretty sure that's the only Kirby game on the Switch that runs at 30. Um, no. No, no, um, cause like, like, I... M most of the Kirby games on Switch run at 30. The uh -oh. only one that, yeah, yeah, the, the only one that runs at 60 is Fighters 2. Oh right, uh, no, oh. Um, no, not, no, not not completely correct. Um, wait, what about um uh, Return of Dreamland Deluxe? Oh frick, I forgot. Yeah, Return of Dreamland <laughs> Deluxe runs at sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I I'm not a true Kirby fan. I'm a fake fan. Fake fan. <laughs> uh, I'll 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 just I'll 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 Okay, that's a bag of money. I thought it was a dress. <laughs> I, I don't know why that, uh, that, um... I don't even know if they're called lums in this game, but the things you swing on, I, I don't know what, uh, why that one one was there. But yeah, Fighters 2 and Return of Dreamland Deluxe are the only Kirby games that run at 60 frames per second. Every, all the other Kirby games okay, run at 60 frames per second. As soon as you said there were other yeah. games, I'm like, oh wait, Forgotten Land. I forgot about that. I haven't played it in so long. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so neon. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize there were spikes. Yeah, this is this would not be my favorite level. Yeah, I can't. You can't see. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can bar you you can barely see. You're in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like, am I, like, I, I, it felt like I was just about to fall to my death. That would suck. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, thank God, more lights. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Oh, no, what, what the heck? heck? Okay. What is, Spooder. Original boss? Yeah, this is, spider. Yeah, this is a, original. How do I, I, I see. Okay. I see. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yeah. 
So, so I, I don't know if you guys uh, saw it earlier, but yeah, the whole point of this level was that we wanted, we needed to turn power on for someone. Oh, there's actual plot to this? Yeah. Oh, okay. that, that's the reason why, why we're even in this cave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you know what? No, no, I I'm gonna... I'm what? I I'm gonna turn off the skid sound effect. <laughs> uh, can I exit this place? Okay, good. Nice. Oh, well, this is certainly a boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? I don't know if you can... can you...? Okay, I probably shouldn't tempt fate. Going back to like the, the level creator thing, what series would you guys want to see that for? Uh... Hmm... The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it! Um... I wouldn't mind seeing, like, um, a Metroid one. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be, like, uh, that'd be interesting, but it also sounds like it would be a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, yeah, because yeah, right. Because because I'm thinking what I'm I'm just thinking what IPs would be suitable for like level creation. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I know. Like, if we're if, if we're going if we're going for like Nintendo IPs, then um, I would like yeah um, then yeah like Z Zelda would definitely be prime for something like that. Well, um, I was just fi well, it doesn't have to be like just Nintendo, just just any anything. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. Um. Or uh, um. A Sonic Maker. That would be kind of cool. Oh yes. Yes. Um. Yoshi's Island, maybe. Hmm. Like, um. I know. Like. I know. Like a. Um. A fan made uh, Crash Maker is uh, in the works. So. Oh, that's nice. That'd be cool. Yeah, Crash Maker. That would be cool. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I, I, it's funny, oh my god, please, um, it's funny when, like, uh, an un unofficial, unofficial release has me more excited than, like, 90% of, like, actual game releases. That just means you're old, Harry. <laughs> I want to see st what stupid things people make with a Crash Creator. <laughs> Yeah, of course you would, you masochist. <laughs> <sighs> hey, let's see if we can make Crash Force levels even harder! <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. I still find it funny that one of the, uh, um, uh, devs for that game was like, <laughs> like, until, up until the moment of release, they were worried that the game was too easy. <laughs> this is why you don't develop in a bubble. Yeah, th th this is what this is why um, playtesting is important. Because that, that's again, that's the reason why Rayman One is the, the original is so um like unbearably hard. Because it had like no playtesting. Yeah. Am I just supposed to go back? I don't know what I'm doing. Story of my life. Is that a UFO? It's <laughs> <laughs> just the way I don't know why he said that. Is that a UFO? <laughs> what is this? I love I love Scrappy's dead pants. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like you it's like you think you choose from new you know Kami. <laughs> wow. <laughs> by the way. Yep. I like I would like I would also say like maybe like a I would also say like maybe like a Pokemon maker, but that's essentially just Pokemon Stadium. Mm, I, I, yeah, I, I, kind of kind of. What would you do? Like, but like you gotta create your own shit a Pokemon in of itself. What what would a, a po yeah, what would a Pokemon creator like be? I don't know. Make your own region with like, like Probably like make your own region, but just put like what I mean like RPG maker is a RPG maker is a thing. That's true. Oh god damn it! 
the RPG Maker is a thing, and there even been and it, like there even like been some like official games made using RPG Maker. I know Amori was made using RPG Maker, for example. Mm. I still need to, I still I still need to I still need to play that game. I have it, but I haven't gotten far. That too, it's on play, it's on a PlayStation Four. Wait, was it called Amori? Amori. Hey. Oh, dang it. Yeah, they um uh, really popular um uh, RPG Maker game. Right. Yeah. I've definitely, I, yeah, I've definitely seen that uh, before. Yes, now every, ugh, gosh darn it. Now every armchair game developer who claims they can do better than Game Freak can make their own Pokemon region. Right. Yeah, again, I mean, it, it's been, like, taught, like, talked about before but like the problem isn't really game freak themselves it's the fact that they don't get enough time yeah like uh, having to make all these games in like a year or something like that that's just not gonna work yeah because on yeah, because honestly, Ga Game Freak eat like Game Freak. I, I I mean, I would say Game Freak, but like the Pokemon company, they did. They, I feel like they, they should like expand to like other studios to take on those things. Mm -hmm. At least, like, at the very least, to give Game Freak a break. Every yeah. Now and then. It, didn't didn't Game Freak also like make both Legends Arceus and Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, they did. Yeah, like we okay, we didn't need both of those in the same year. Like you you could have just um. De a delayed Legends Arceus and made that like a holiday title and then just released Scarlet and Violet the following year. I mean, like, to be I... fair, um, both of them, were, I know, well, I know it's Pokemon, so it's going to sell by, by the fall, but like, oh, yeah, at least yeah, both, yeah. At least both, at least, at least quality is, qual quality may vary, but at least they sold, at least they sold well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, the selling, like, the, like, selling is not really going to be an issue, issue for Pokemon, but like, it's really... I know, it's Pokemon, they win by the fault. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah like, but like, yeah. they, Game Freak needs more time. I mean, at yeah. least Legend of Arceus came out well. Yeah. Although, yeah, yeah something about that feels like it had even more time to cook it than the other ones. Oh! Oh, alright, oh, oh, I see. Because, yeah, get, cause, yeah get, Game Freak definitely needs more time and more, like, and more manpower. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, I'm no, I mean, like, I'm, 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 I'm not, a, I'm not a game developer, so I can't up, so I can't speak for that. But I feel, I, but I feel like if the, if Game Freak had more manpower or at least more time to get things done, then they would, de then the Pokemon games would be would have better quality control. Um, okay, for uh, okay for starters, um, okay, th so this section was in the original game, but it was made. This is a lot easier because. Um, for starters, there were no checkpoints, and there were no like, um, like, like solid, solid uh, bits of land. I remember this. I remember this from when you invited me over to the commentary on the channel. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah, um, so you, yeah, the, the section sucks in the original. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Yeah, and it, yeah, and uh, yeah, you would have had to be sent to the back of this section. Um, yep. Yeah, these piranha guys suck. Anyways, what were you saying? Um, something like um, like so something about how like um, if the if if there was more quality control, if if if, if Game Freak either had more oh. time to develop their games or oh, more well, people to help them out. Well, that that too, but uh, I, it sounded like Jason was gonna ask me something. Was that? Oh yeah, I was saying you, you still haven't played Legends Arceus. I don't. Yeah, I don't own the game. You should, I, I think you'd like it actually. Mm. I do have a. I think a sword. I have. I. I. I never really. Well, I, I, I think at this point you're just. It turns of. Um, sorry, the dogs are going. Uh, the dogs are going nuts. I think it turns of like Pokemon get like mainline Pokemon games. Like I know. Yeah, you do have sword, but like I don't know. Yeah. If, well, then again, I was. I. I. I didn't say like you should just go to Sword and Shield or to Scarlet and Wild because yeah. Each Pokemon, each Pokemon game in themselves is an experience. Yes, yeah. I, 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 I'm uh, like to be honest, I'm not like super. What, what the heck is this? Hold on, hold that thought. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. Okay. okay. I'll, yeah, I'll get, I'll get is, this one. Is it, wait, so it has a lot though. So like, this is, is this a permanent? I think it's permanent. Yeah. 
Molten dust. Well, let's find out, I guess. Um. Oh, hi, Scorps. Uh -huh. Ooh, there, I just had my beauty sleep. You will not get away with this. Drown in lava. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. That's gonna kill me. You killed me, Mega Man. Is it a thing you turn on? Oh, dang, dang it. Oh, no. Stop what, it. the cage locator? Oh, yeah. maybe. Uh, maybe it's because it's well, not. I guess, no... we'll, well, I guess we'll wait until the act, we'll, until something actually happens. Wow! Wow! What a level! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, wait. So it's below you? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, did you hit that mushroom? Um, I'm wondering if like. Oh yes! Oh, oh I right. see how it works. Yeah, cause it. Okay, yeah, cause it needs. Ah, you need to. Okay, it's right. where it is, but not where it's all about, but where it's going. It, it, right. If it's not there, it's gonna. That just means it's. Uh, it's gonna spawn there. Yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I, I I do like how the arrow like uh gets like colored in as like the first. Oh, it's quite hard to hold view. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Um. Yeah, because uh, I, I I think I remember seeing from like the Ant Dude video that like um the item locator and stuff that was added for this as a much needed quality of life update since like some of the stuff is required to get the to reach the final boss I think. Uh, in the original game, I don't know about this one. Like in the oh no, but, uh man, I should know about buying a used copy off Amazon. One of the pages has a little slight tear in it. Yeah, in the original the original game, if you're not using password, if you're not using like passwords and stuff, uh, you you have to 100% the game basically. Mm. It's yeah, it's not. Sorry, I'm still talking about monkey because like there's like a little bit of a thing in the page. It's like it's not a tear through the page, but it's like it's like some of the words look like they're scratched. Oh, mm. that sucks. What what hit you there? Oh, uh, spikes. Little spikes. <laughs> ah. I was like, excuse me, the lava's down there. <laughs> it's like the largest yeah, hitbox ever. Don't, don't you just love jank hitboxes? Oh yeah, oh there's a thing down here. Oh, there's death. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So <laughs> I guess you guys go down with the lava. Magma. Lava. Crap, what is that from? Sakurai presents. Oh right, right, right. I was oh, like, yeah, I, I, yeah so I, now I remember. Yeah. Now the question is, how are you gonna get out of there once you get down? I assume platforms are gonna appear. Also, those those electrons should just be dead. <laughs> no, the cage. No, the, the whole cage is is a is lava proof. Apparently. We. Including in between the bars. Yeah. Yeah, cause that makes sense. <laughs> of course. Literally oh god! Disappointed. Oh gosh. <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say about Pokemon Sword and Shield though, like... Uh... I really don't like owning a game and then not, like, just not playing it at all, like, I... That's... Like... <laughs> There's that, but I am also like, to be honest, I don't really care about the game, <laughs> so it's kind of just a lose-lose situation. Uh, did you play the game yet? No, but like, I just don't have much desire to, is the thing. So why'd you buy it? <laughs> uh, I I don't I I think I got it for Christmas one year. One moment, please. My dog is doing a free shit. Get up! Oh no. Is there something over here? No. <laughs> that would have been a perfect moment for a soundboard.
No, I'm try trying to keep it professional, at least. Professional, yeah, ah, yes. We clearly have reached the top rank. Uh, Mr. Grizz will pay us in, in, in so much golden eggs. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, speak okay, what, are we, what am I saying? I mean, um, uh, we'll get such a, a lot of equipment. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, who's played, um, who's played Unfinished Splatoon for his campaign? I have. I have. Uh, I assume Scrappy hasn't. What am I supposed to do here? Die. Burn. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid. I have the thing. Oh, the b oh the beans. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that that makes more sense. Okay, yeah, no, that I keep forgetting about that. That, that was your fault. Yeah, I, I I I I don't know why I keep forgetting that that I have that. Um, yeah, uh, thing. Uh, do you do you care about spoilers, Scrappy? If I, it's Splatoon, like, give a <laughs> warning to your audience and then I'll get over it. Okay. Uh, well, I, I was just gonna, well, okay, well, I was just gonna say, uh, I'm never gonna be able to look at, um, uh, Mr. Grizz the same way ever again. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I don't even know who that is, so. Yeah, okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll leave it at that then. Oh god, oh god. Oh man, oh god. Oh, I'm I'm screwed. Well, yeah. Rip. <laughs> <laughs>